Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to share with you two tax breaks that unfortunately Congress didn't act on quick enough and they expired at the end of 2013. One thing to keep in mind that this is January 3rd, 2014 as we speak. So if you're watching this in two th later in 2014 or in the latter years, uh, or the later years, uh, then these laws may have changed at that point. But as we stand now, the Mortgage Debt Relief Act, which basically said that the difference in a foreclosure or short sale for an owner between the sales price and the amount that was owed on the home. So if I owed 100,000 and I sold my house for 75,000 or the bank received 75,000, there's $25,000 of in essence, what they call a discharge of indebtedness income. In other words, that's ordinary income to you because you don't have to pay that back. You were given a gift of $25,000. Now, in 2005, or roughly around there, George W. Bush passed a law that, that Congress extended, along with Barack Obama, extended through 2013. Really, it's Congress that has to extend it because they make the laws. And it has not been extended into 14. What does that mean? That means we're going to have anyone with foreclosure or short sale that has that discharge of indebtedness income similar to the similar to the uh, example that I just gave you that will be considered ordinary income tax so let's say Bob had that $25,000 of in, uh, discharge of indebtedness income because they only got $75,000 for the home but he owed a hundred he would have on his income tax return for that year when he files the year following for the previous year, he will have $25,000 of additional income that he must claim on his income taxes. And this is very important because I, I think that what we're going to find is that it's going to push more houses into foreclosure because people aren't going to take the risk that they, it, within a short sale, because they're going to hope that their situation turns around and they can get back on their feet. Unfortunately, many people aren't going to, and what's going to end up happening is prices could uh, be pressed lower because more people go into foreclosure and the sad part is foreclosure doesn't help you because those if you're in foreclosure they will sell for much less at least 15 percent less than you typically will get with a short sale so that discharge and debt income is even more so going to foreclosure is not your answer short sale will usually always get you a better price than uh, if you send it to foreclosure because you have no control over the sales price at that point because the banks will buy it uh, back from themselves for whatever price they want to. And so the other thing to, that has gone away is the uh, uh, mortgage insurance uh, deduction where, you know, in years past you've been able to deduct the, the uh, cost of your mortgage insurance uh, that you pay, the premium that you pay every year. It's been considered like interest. Uh, on your tax return that will go away uh, and I I don't like it but I think that I understand that a lot more than I do in a uh, fairly frail economy uh, to get rid of the Mortgage Debt Relief Act but uh, if you have any more questions about this feel free to email me call your at megaagents.com have an awesome day bye bye